tuning in to Ladies of the Kingdom with your girl certification. I got my wonderful sister from another mother, but the same father, Miss Eternal, in the hey. building. What's up, So, I have a question. You know, we've been chit chatting, typing that, you know what I'm saying? We had shy, right? <laughs> but the question is what are some of the gifts and talents that you have that you have not explored yet? You haven't dug into you know you got them, but you just haven't touched them. Um, well, um, uh, there's a lot of stuff I do that I'm really good at, mm -hmm. but I'm not necessarily believe that I'm called or God has showed me I'm called. And then there is some things that I do believe that you know, eventually when God opens the door and says go, that I'm supposed to do. Okay. And I know inspiring people and talking, so I, I believe that. I could be the next urban gospel over. So I said, I want a, want a name. I had to get out of my old name, Tish mm -hmm. Baby. That's what they knew me from the streets. <laughs> and I wanted to start representing God. That was my way of starting to represent God, you know, because they say you have to get out of yourself. Right. You know, and so that was the beginning of it. And so I released uh, my first project, No More Stumbling, 2004, 2005. And um, it was amazing because I got a lot of love from the San Diego gospel community, uh, uh, some of Atlanta, some of uh, uh, a little bit of Las Vegas, mm -hmm. different areas like that. And I had a chance to be on 1040 AM, which was a, a 24 hour gospel mm -hmm. station here. Mm -hmm. you know? And so I was really honored and excited about what God was doing. And of course, you know, when you start pushing God, it's going to be war. And so, and <laughs> with that came, you know, uh, a and, uh, and that's what pretty much happened. Shotty T produced some of my hottest tracks. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, now praise my life. And so, you know, really honored to work with him. Um, and that's pretty much it since that's where it all started. That's I, cool. I, you know, I wrote when I was a child and I already knew I had a calling, but I didn't know what did I, what was I supposed to do. Right. You know, what, you know, what was I supposed to do? So he had to show me a different portions of my life, mm -hmm. you know, um, as I grew. And then he showed me, hey, you can't just repent for your sins and then uh, go back and do it. Right, life. right. <laughs> have you have you have you noticed that each song that you write and you write for Christ, yeah. eventually you have to go through what you wrote in that oh, song? Yeah. Like I you know, I listened to a song that I did years ago and I did we recorded it with my son's father and it seemed like it's what I'm living now. Mm -hmm. You know, but I thought I was talking about the storm that I lived but then. Right. It was the storm made them happen after I recorded this song. So it's like, you know, it's kind of like what they say about the word of God is a two-edged sword. And yes. when you're sharing and ministering or anything like that, you're cutting yourself too. Yeah. A lot of people think that, oh, they're judging you. No, they cut themselves. When they, if they dishing it out to you, they cut themselves too. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And it's for you. It's usually you're talking to yourself, but you're giving it to the people too. Because now... You're experiencing it, and now you can help someone else. Mm -hmm. Isn't that like a revelation that um, a mother has when she is disciplining her children? Yes. She's speaking to him, and then she gets out by myself on the line. I get the fussy, boy, you know you got Yeah, right. Oh, Lord, you talking to me. Right. Okay. You, you know what yeah. yeah. yeah, You need to listen to it. That's cool. That's cool. You know what I mean? It's a trip, though. That, is, cool. that is so true. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Well. My girl, you turn. Y'all better yeah. check out. Cause uh, I don't know what video was about to drop next, but it's about to be alright. Oh, we got something <laughs> inspiring to work in. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Now, tell them exactly what they can find, where they can find your information, where can they get in contact with you? Cause we're not gonna do this at the end of. of yeah, okay. so we're gonna do this right now. Right now. We need to go log on. Right yeah. now. Bye, share, like, right there. Right. Go ahead and pull me up. Uh, you can follow me at Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at I'm Eternal. And it's spelled I-M-E-T-U-R-N-U-L. And um, all the music is available on Google Music, Amazon, iTunes, everywhere digital music is sold. You can watch the new latest videos. Make sure you go subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know where you at. Let me know where you at. And for booking, you can email at we the numbers eight zero five south at gmail.com. I hope to hear from you soon. <laughs>
That's my girl right there. <laughs> so when it was actually released to the people, you came mm -hmm. out as Eternal on right. the other mm -hmm. side. What, what was that like? It was exciting, but I was nervous too because I wasn't like actually raised in church. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I felt like I never fit in, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so that was kind of interesting, but it was a lot of love, you know, preacher, man. We, back then we had 10.40 a.m., we had a 24-hour gospel station, mm -hmm. and, um, and right. they showed major love, 12, 12, 10. It was just, it was amazing, you know. Um, actually, I think it was 12.40. Um, but 1048 was definitely the uh, main ones, and they had me in circulation. And then I got to go experience the Holy Hip Hop Awards in Atlanta in 2006. <laughs> and that was really, really nice because uh, you had artists like uh, Kane Jones, mm -hmm. uh, Kiki Sure, She was busting out of the, you know, busting out, you know, mm -hmm. doing her thing. And then and I think Mr. Dale from, uh, used to be from 36 Miles, mm -hmm. a lot of those guys were out there. You know, I didn't really know nobody, but I got a chance to be in that realm and, and experience it. And um, it was exciting. So when that came out, my first project was really, really hot. Uh, Shotty G produced most of my um, tracks on that CD. Mm -hmm. It was called No More Stumbling. So you had uh, tracks like My Life, you know, um, was really, really popular. A uh, song called True Friend, where I was ministering to my friends and family, saying like, really, and the people just in general that a true friend to care about your soul, pretty much. A true friend, you know, will tell you about eternal life. Right. A true friend don't want to see you die before, you know, telling you that Satan's a lie, you know. And that was that track. So that was like a more, like, hood track, you know, that was just talking about, you know, life and that. Uh, here's Jesus. Like, mm -hmm. if I love you, I'm going to care about your soul. It ain't about me going to hop in a car and hanging out with you and doing something else supposed to be doing or whatever it is. Uh, it's about God and having a relationship. Right. So, so when you were talking, you did say something about you standing out, you being different. Right. Now, in the beginning, you felt like um, you standing out being different was something that was not usual. Was it normal? Yeah, I just, you just like, because people move a certain way. And, it, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and it's a lot of, even in, um, the church building, because I won't say just at the actual body, mm -hmm. but in the building, sometimes people are very cliquish. They only deal with their own crew and stuff like that. And you, think, you know, I'm from, you know, I came from a little bit of the street too, so it's kind of like I could do that in the streets. Right. I'm going to be cliquish if we on God's side. I don't care if you sing, rap, dance, do poetry, a doctor, psychiatrist. Or whatever it is, we ride on the same team. We gonna ride. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. You know, and so because old things passed away, all things became new, and all of us came new in God. We right. Have that in common. So right. There should be some type of mutual ground, but sometimes it's not always like that. And plus, I'm nervous every time I do something for God. I'm nervous. It hasn't stopped, and I think it's because I'm not representing myself. I'm representing God, and I wanna. Do right, but as soon as I open my mouth, then all that goes it's away. It's over. It's over. But it's just like every single time. I remember my mouth used to get dry when I have to minister the word of God. And right. I be like, I need some water. <laughs> and I then, can't think boom. So it's like um, now that you see that you're different. Right. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel great. I like being different. Like I like being. I like being weird. I like being like. You know, I don't know why, but I didn't used to like it at first. Now it's like, you know what? I like being different. I like not fitting in. All right, cool. Proceed. So, like, the very last question I'm going to ask is I want to keep you all night. You know, you spending your time here in D-Town, right? You got hey. some fabulous experiences going on. But, uh, <laughs> question. Um, for, um, what would you say to someone else who is sitting there and they're contemplating on changing their life, doing something different, doing something new, what would he to come in and tell them to do? I would say, actually, the thing that you fear doing, just try it one time. Just try the results. Um, a lot of times we fear failure because we think we're not good enough. You know, my God's not telling me to do that. Mm -hmm. No, you know. But whatever it is, uh, I would say just take that one step of faith. I would say, I dare you to trust God. I dare you to trust God, and I believe that He will definitely show up and show out on your behalf. 
that's it. And I thank you. Because, uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm taking it. I'm taking it in. So, yeah, I trust God. So, mm -hmm. yeah. We, it's that's not your will, but his will be done. Always. <laughs> Son. Uh -uh. <laughs> so, hey, you guys, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Ladies of the Kingdom. I got my girl, Eternal. Y'all make sure y'all check her out. She is we805south.com. That is we805south.com. Go ahead and check her out. Pick her up. Like, share, pray for her. Because you know she has the ladies of the kingdom. We fight for your life. God bless. See you later.